Have you ever considered starting your own website? If you want a good one, you're going to need a great web host. That's why I recommend Bluehost. And we have an exclusive offer for everyone who listens to the Adventuring the Girl Life podcast. You can get started with Bluehost for $3.95. They have impeccable customer service. They have a one-click automatic WordPress blog installation. You can't get any easier than that. And when you're ready for more than one website, there's no need to look for more hosting. Bluehost has got you covered. That's why I recommend Bluehost. And you can find this deal at www.jenwhitmoretraining.com under the resources tab or www.jenwhitmoretraining.com forward slash resources. Welcome to Adventuring the Girl Life, where we believe life for every girl should be well lived. Each week, we'll explore tips and techniques to add more adventure to your world, from fitness and self-care to career building and fulfillment, and even the most mundane parts of life. So buckle up. I'm your host, Jen Whitmore, certified personal trainer, mom of two, yoga lover, and your new partner in adventure. Hey, hey, girls, welcome back to the podcast. Today, I have a question for you. Are you happy with exactly where you are in your life? Today, we're talking about how we all are the average of the five people that we associate with. Now, whether you believe this to be true or not, there is plenty of research that has been done. Now, According to the research by the social psychologist of Harvard, the people you habitually associate with determine as much as 95% of your success or failure in life. That sounds drastic, right? So if you apply that to the five people that you associate with, we can see how we are exactly where we have chosen to be. The obvious next question is, are you where you want to be in life? Secondly, should we evaluate our five people? All right, let's take a short detour here. Who are your people? Maybe it's your mom. Maybe it's your spouse. Maybe it's your coworkers. Maybe it's your church friends. I don't know where your people are coming from, but you're the average of your five, whoever they may be. Everyone's goals are different. If your goal is to have a good marriage, then you need to hang out with people who have good marriages. Not your friend down the street that you see at the bus stop every single day who's been divorced three times. If your goal is a good marriage, then you have to find people who have good marriages. Maybe you want to lose weight and have a healthier lifestyle. If your spouse isn't on board with this, then you need to look outside your home for an accountability friend. Side note, your spouse is someone that you spend lots of time with, but for this particular goal, they aren't going to be your person. It depends on what your goals are and what you're trying to accomplish. Now, obviously, lots of us have lots of different goals. You know, you may want to have a good marriage and to lose weight, also to raise better children, to succeed in your career. We have all kinds of things going on, but we need to make sure that we are surrounding ourselves with the people that can help get us there. Now, I don't mean that like you're a leech and you're trying to get something from someone every time you turn around. What I mean is that you need to associate yourself with the people who are where you want to be. Because how helpful are the people who are not where you want to be going to be? That's kind of a tongue twister. The answer is they're not going to be helpful. If all of your friends are overweight, how are they going to help you lose weight? If all of your friends don't have good marriages, how are they going to help you have a good marriage? Now, these are just two examples that I'm sticking with, but you get the point. If you want to move up in your career, but 
all of your coworkers are totally fine with their nine to five and have no desire to improve themselves, they aren't going to be your people. Again, I'm not telling you to ditch all your friends, forget your mom and never call her again, sleep in the other room from your spouse, but I am saying that you need to find your people. You have to find your tribe, associate with the people who are where you're going or can help you get there. We cannot expect to achieve positive, successful outcomes with our dreams and goals if we're not seeking out the positive, successful achievers. One of my kiddos Bible verses we had them memorize was, do not be misled, bad company corrupts good character. Um, It's 1 Corinthians 15.33, if you're wondering. We're trying to teach them that if they expect to do well and behave, then they cannot associate with people who do not do well and behave. Which further translates to who you hang out with is who you will be like. And you cannot expect to have a positive life if you hang around negative people all the time. All right. Step three, finding those people. Maybe the people you have in your life are fantastic and wonderful and you love them and you don't desire to change them. That's totally fine. Of course, we all have our people that we love, but we also have goals and dreams that we want to further ourselves with. And sometimes it takes us seeking out those people who have already accomplished it to help us along the way. So how do we find these people? Well, Jen, I really want a yacht, but I don't know anyone that has a yacht. I really want to lose weight, but no one in my life cares about losing weight. I really want to succeed, but my boss is just holding me down. I really want a successful online business, but I have no idea what that is or how to do it. And no one in my life even knows what that is. I have been there. And what I'm going to tell you is so obvious and you already know the answer. Go online, my sweet dear. We live in the age where everything we want is at our fingertips. You can even have your food delivered to your door. I'm pretty sure if you wanted to never leave your house, you could get everything that you wanted delivered except maybe social interaction. There are meetups and concerts and Facebook groups and mommy groups and churches and specific clubs for anything and everything you could ever want. If there's something that you want in this life, then you have to be determined enough to figure out where to find the people that you want slash need to associate yourself with to get there. You are the average of the five people that you hang out with. And now, girlfriend, you need to decide whether those people are the right ones. Again, I'm not telling you to ditch your bestie and forget your mom. I'm just telling you that if you want something, then you have to go after it. After all, we only have this one life to live. So go get it, girlfriend. Coming up are our crowns and our flops. Holy moly, girls, my flop this week is so sad. So I definitely consider myself to be pretty handy. Being handy is my thing. But let's not get carried away. There is a limit to how handy I am. And I have been trying to hang curtains in my office so that I can take better pictures. I am currently six holes deep in the wall, and there are still no curtains to be hung. I have ruined a drill bit. Um, I've already recharged the battery in the drill. There is still a screw currently stuck in my wall that I literally cannot get out. I'm going to have to yank it out and then putty up the hole. I need help. So I'm trying to hang these curtains in the doorways of my office. And what I didn't realize is there is a metal frame behind the sheetrock of these doorways. 
And so this is the reason that I am six holes deep and two or three tools ruined into this project. So wish me luck, sisters. I might end up hiring someone to put up curtains for me. I feel like this sounds so sad. So if you know anyone, I might be looking because this is a sad day when I cannot get my own curtains hung. Okay, moving right along into the crowning moment of the week. Girls, I am so excited. I have finally been able to start working on the project that I have intended to launch this year for you girls. I don't want to... I don't want to give too much away, but I do want you to know that I am working on creating either a course or a program that all has to do with self-care. That is our main thing that we talk about here. And I want you girls to understand that I am in your corner and I will do everything that I possibly can to help you to take care of yourself. Whether that includes meditation, water intake, losing weight, eating healthier, taking a trip just so that you can decompress, I am going to help you live the wellest life possible. So I'm very excited about this new project that I have going. I have finally gotten to start, and you are in for a treat. Thanks for listening today, girls. I wanted to let you know I will be accepting four new clients starting in the month of April. So if you're ready to make those weight loss changes in your life, you can head over to my website, jenwhitmoretraining.com, or find the link in the show notes. Thanks for listening, girls. If you have enjoyed this episode of Adventuring the Girl Life, Please remember to subscribe to the show and leave a review so that more girls can grow. And until next week, girls, adventure on!